Three Twenty- musketeers getting on a, a train. 25 minutes late, but we're getting on. guys uh, we're back on dream lakes uh, over in France we're on Lake Free this time it is Saturday the 5th of March uh, we drove through the night again last night it was on the 20 past 10 which was about half hour late we actually got here about 10 to 5 this morning so I pulled the bed chairs out had a prop up uh, three of us on this week uh, had a prop up under the under the canopy in between four and five lakes four and five uh, got a couple of hours kit. Got, woke up at half past seven. Had a wander round. We are the only three on Lake Three. There's no one on four, no one on five. Uh, we've actually got three mates coming down on Monday on Lake Five that are going to fish till Friday. We're going to fish till Friday. Um, haven't seen much. Be honest with you, it's the the sun's coming up. Obviously from our left, I'm I'm in swim twelve. I came out third in the draw out the three of us. Um, so Martin's gone down into nine, which the sun is hitting that bank. It looks like looks like just a glow. That bank's lovely. Um, a lot warmer down that end. He's gone down to there. Um, I've I'm in as I said I'm in swim twelve. A little Dave, he's gone into swim thirteen to my left. Uh, but we've got the lake to ourselves, so chances are we can have a move. I only went in the middle of the lake to see if. Uh, I could see what was going on because both ends I can see from here. Martin was going to go in his favourite swim in swim two, um, and Dave was going to go into five where we had to begin out in 2019. 72-12, 72-10 I think it was actually. Might put some pictures on of that one at the end. Uh, we've actually had that big and three times out of here. It seems to like us. So I'm hoping Dave gets it this year. Uh, be nice to see it, but he hasn't had it so. I actually caught it one year, I think 2018, with, when I had both my daughters with me. Um, but it's looking good, it's looking good. The sun's coming up again now, so I'll show you the swim. Um, but I spoke to, Murs came over with Bills on this week, both of them. And um, they did say there was a Dutch guy in here, he had 14 I think last week, but he was on his own last week. Uh, and Murs did say that most of them were coming out of an evening and early morning. Even though the sun was up and it was nice, but it's cold, cold nights apparently. We were due for minus four, I think, tonight. Uh, looking at temperatures for the rest of the week, I think Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to get up to 13 and 14, so might be t shirt weather. But cold nights, so the, I think the rest of the week's about minus two. Uh, well, hopefully we'll get set up and then. Um, I'll get back to you and show you Martin, where Martin is and where little Dave is. But this is the swim I'm in. Um, this is my view of uh, swim 12. So the sun's coming up there from the left. And it is literally in that bank where Martin is down there. So it's going to be a lot warmer down that way. So it wouldn't surprise me if he gets some in the uh, margins down there. There is a couple of marks down there where people have fished, so I'm presuming he's gonna fish them. Um, so the water's got a lovely green tinge to it, but it does look nice. Um, behind me there is Lake Four. Um, and then for those people that haven't been to Dreams, we got a spit goes up the middle where the lodges with the toilets and showers. Uh, we slept under there last night on the, or this morning early, on the bed chairs. And then you've got Lake Five. So little Dave has gone down to swim 13. Um, 
but we've got plenty of time, plenty of time. Looking forward to a nice week, relaxing, just the three of us. So uh, Martin's down there in the end, and I have plotted up the bivy in swim 12. So I'll get back to you if we get any fish. All right, guys, it's, uh, it's about quarter past six now. Temperature's really going down. Uh, I think it's going to be minus four to minus five tonight. Uh, minus two is the rest of the week, but we've got a lovely warm weather. Uh, I think we've had 12 today, been in t-shirts today, but I caught the Murs and uh, Bill. Uh, most of the fish been coming out of an evening and early morning, so I uh, say so me, Martin and Dave have had nothing. Uh, for, oh, I think the rods went out about lunch, come back 12 o'clock. And uh, we've we've had nothing at the moment, a couple of little single bleeps, but so the sun's going down now. Uh, it is looking on a little show out there. Um, there's no one else on the lake. We're on Lake Three, as I said. Uh, no one else on, so we will give it a couple of couple of nights in these swims. If not, um, I'll probably jump in the van, and have a move. Uh, I'll get back to you if we get anything during the night. Just walked down to Martin. Uh, the trouble's getting all those head torches. Mark, that's a nice fish, that one. That's, it could be a 60. Um, I thought it was late. <laughs> late. What time is it? 10 at 12? Yeah. 10 to midnight. Not as cold as I thought it was going to be. I thought right. they said it was going to be minus 4 at night. Uh, Second fish in 10 minutes. Ain't got no frost. frost. Just, just put one back. How big was the other one, Mark? 36. 36. Oh. I'm biting the scissors. Uh, against that margin? Yeah. Yeah. You wait till that sun gets on there again. It's like ready for it, isn't it? It's like, we can go around it. <sighs> Gonna be warm down there. He said that, didn't he? He said, uh, those warm days, but they were coming of a, of a night. I've not had a touch down there all day. Not had a, not had a bleep. Oh, well, well, like what we famous saying. What was it? <laughs> Everything comes to where you're right. Oh, shit. Well, that's why I told you to have, uh, cut the line, personally. But... Oh, that's a good fish. I don't know if I can. A very big fish. Oh, yeah. That's, um, I think it's well up in the 50s, that one. Nice mirror. Said about big mirror, wouldn't it? Yeah. What is a big mirror? Um, right. Get the net. Lift him. Drag the net out. Oh, yeah. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Please. Right, mate. Oh. I get one in rhino lights. That's a lovely fish, that. Next, just on the end, Mark. For the uh, sling. Zip him up. Oh, you tuck that in. You tuck that in. I'll tuck this in. That's it. Got it? Right. Mm, you might have to. Uh, Hook him up. That's root. Oh. oh my god. Are you okay? Lift. Oh, are you lifting? Lift it, that's it. All right, go on. Go on. They're like a right pair of noddies. Ah, who said that, isn't it? 55. Uh, yeah, it's just under 55 and a half, mate. Just under 55 and a half. Lovely. Lovely. All right. Get a couple of pictures, eh? A couple of pictures. Martin. 55, 55 and a half. 
Nice mirror. That's good, Mark. Let me touch. Uh, Martin putting that 55, 55 mirror back. Uh, look at the width of him. Look oh, the width of that. Stick the saddle on that, couldn't you? <laughs> well, let me come that side here. Water will be well up, innit? Yeah, as you know. Nice fish. Beauty. Well done, mate. Just walking down to Martin, uh, Sunday morning. Uh, little Dave following us. Uh, that's Lake Four. Nobody on. Uh, just walked down to Martin. It's uh, wind blowing down into his corner. Like I said, the sun comes up and it's him. That bank on the right hand side, I think, where he's getting them from. Uh, oh, not as cold as I thought it was going to be. There's old Martin. Oh, <laughs> don't lose it in them heart after that. A hey, big mark. Another nice one? Yeah, that's bad. Yeah? Oh, oh you ain't anxious. Still got that line round it, ain't ya? Look. I don't want you don't just cut that. Look, it's right behind your legs. Look. Oh, because it's got the uh... tubing. We we'll just Tube set up again. Off. Takes two seconds. Trip over it in a minute. What's that? Common. Common. Yeah, common. Hey. Morning, David boy. Morning. What's the, what's oh, the secret, scary. Mark? Oh, no, we don't know. He's right there. <laughs> hey, have you have you not seen them? No. I've seen them this morning jumping on the edge of the ripple there. One just lumped right out there. That's a nice common, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be faulty, isn't it? Got to be a faulty. Out right in the middle, Mark? Yeah. That's left hand rod, that one, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that, look, glowing. Like ready brick, that, that bank. It's got the glow. The joys are coming out third. I wouldn't mind, you boys were going to go over the other side. Yeah, there, there, there. Oh, I do like, uh, like four looks nice. Oh, the sun coming up there. Yeah, weren't nowhere near as cold as what they said it was going to be, was it? Dead flat, that end. Right. Moment of truth. I went in 38. No, it's big, it looked bigger than that 38 we had in November. I think it's 40. What is it? 41. 41. 12, 14. Yeah? Well done, matey. 41. There's only two ounces. There's only 16 ounces. Look, you ain't, you're 4 under 42. Got to be 41. 41, 10. 41, 10. Not bad. Uh, was that 4110 or 4210? Oh, 4110. Right, mate, let's get some so pictures. We had, we had 50, 40, 30. 30, yeah. What you that, uh, I've had that blankety blank. <laughs> blankety blank. It's only the first night. Let's make we are. I come back, don't everyone, know, back. everyone knows I come from behind. Come on, let's get some pictures. Video of Martin wrestling. Look. Come on, Martin. Bit, bit of carp wrestling. Go, Mark. You know he's going to get tail slapped. Shane, beat the way in the round. We get like, like 250. Are uh, we going? Uh -huh. uh, Martin put in a just under 42. Coming back. Water looks lovely, doesn't it, with that tinge? Die. 
Good fight, Mark, was it? Uh, deep panic when I got it in. There she goes. Back to the depths. Well done, mate. Down the dive swim. Uh, not much to report here. But it's only the first morning. Uh, I think I'm the only one fishing in the calm water. Uh, what's What number is this one, Dave? Uh, 13. 13. Lucky for some, unlucky for others. Yeah. I'm in 12. I'm in uh, Martin's got ripple that, that end, uh, Dave's got ripple this end. Well, it looks good to it. So once that sun comes right up, warms up, it's lovely yesterday, wasn't it? Beautiful. It was about 12, 13 degrees, wasn't it, yesterday? Yeah, it's lovely. It's in t-shirt. But he did say that, he said it's going to be warm days, or, or nice days, sunny days, and cold nights. Uh, yeah, it looks good for it, Dave. I think it'll be all right. We'll catch him. Well, what we after that target? We got a bit. Ninety-seven fish. Ninety-seven fish for the week. Oh, I can't so see it. So you might be disappointed. On uh, the, <laughs> the boys said there was a Dutch angler on here last week. Only only one on there. I think he ended up with fourteen. So, I'm trying to hit double figures. So they're usually a bit bigger stamping three. Uh, we have had that big and out the last three trips down here, haven't we? We have, yeah. Seventy-two ten. I think the biggest it went. Huh? It seems to like us, so hopefully we're hoping little Dave gets it this time because he's the only one that ain't had it. Be nice to see her again on the bank. Uh, keep fingers crossed. We'll get back to you later, hopefully, with a fish. Uh, uh, down with Martin. Uh, Sunday afternoon. It's about half past four. And uh, he's up something big. said to you Mark you, you'll know because when I had it played that I thought it was a cat it took me ages you know but here's the big one you know, big gilt if she pokes her head up and it with so common oh bloody hell that wind's nippy here Mark tucked out the way up there A mirror, oh you, what are you? Fucking hard go though. <laughs> you big girl flowers. <laughs> you, oh, you wait till you do look the bigger then, you're, like, you're gonna have fun. <laughs> uh, go on then. Uh, yeah, it's not bad size mirror. Not bad size mirror. Yeah, it's got some depth to it, Mark. Might be another 40. Yeah, she's in. Well done, mate. Right. Come back in a minute. That big Mark. 38 oh, 38 2. Been a full way. All right, get a picture. Hi, all. Uh, wasn't feeling it in peg 12. Um, decided to move down. Uh, there was a lot of silt out in front of 12. It felt quite smooth, but. Um, Leads were plugging in a bit, uh, uh, nothing happening down there at all. Martin's um, had another one now, I think, down in swim 10. They all seem to be down that end. Uh, I think I'm going to do a couple of nights down in 16, which is the far left hand corner. It's a lot warmer down in this corner. Um, little Dave's moved as well, he was having nothing in 13 up the middle of the lake. Uh, he's got a plateau out, out, out in front of him comes up to about five foot out on the plateau. I thought with that sun on the water he would have had one, but nothing, not a thing. They seem to be all all uh, down the bottom in front of uh, nine along that margin there. But um, he's moved, little Dave's moved into swim two, so he's fishing the far bank as well. Um, I've got about four spots marked up over there. I'm fishing obviously three of them. 
I've got one out at 18 wraps in front of me towards swim one and the other two uh, along the margins. But um, looks nice, it does look nice and it is quite warm considering it's early March. Uh, I think we're due for about minus two again tonight. So uh, Martin's had uh, 55, 48, 36, 41 and he's just had a 38 two. Uh, so he's doing all right down there. Uh, his last two fish been in open water. Um, we shall see. I'll show you most the swim at the moment. Uh, this is swim 16. Um, that's the left-hand margin. I'm fishing. Little Dave is over the far bank. He's in swim two, fishing the same area. Um, so it does look does look good for it. We shall see. Uh, hopefully I'll get back to you with a fish, hopefully, at the night. It looks like, well, when we was last here, I, I checked my report and they were, most of them were evening. I think I only had one fish in the afternoon. Most of them were um, of an evening and early morning. So, hopefully tonight and in the morning. But I've got a bit of catching up to do to catch Martin. Get back to you soon. Bye. All right, so I was fishing peg 13. Move that there because it's... Uh... 17 wraps plugging up to deep silt. Decided to move in to swim two over there. Put a couple of markers up, fishing this hole, and I've got another marker just up here. I'm fishing that hole as well. But nothing at the moment. Wind's really pumping down the other end. I think Tony had three last night and might have had another two. I'm still on nothing at the moment. But all could come to those who wait. So, with a bit of luck, my turn will be next. Here's a swim I'm fishing, swim two. Swims are lovely, all, all done up, all the stuff down. There's a set up that hasn't done much action at the moment. But, like I said earlier, hopefully they'll be kicking off a bit later on. Yeah, so I've got one in that hole over there, and there, and that one over there. That's Tony. Tony's fishing over there in 16. Right, is down the other end. As you see, the wind's pumping down that end. Nice and warm over where Tony is, but freezing over until I've got the wind blowing straight back at me in the thingy, in the bivvy. Sleep. Yep. Right, so just got round to Tony's swim. I'm moving myself out of swim two to go down there where Martin is, the opposite side. And I think Tony has banked himself to a toy. Very nice fish, mate. Oh, yeah. Question myself now. Oh, well, actually. Question myself now whether to make the move, but I'm going to make the move anyway. I'll put my money where my mouth is. Oh, a lovely fish, mate. Got a t shirt weather over here, isn't it? For you, it is, mate, yeah. Unbelievable for March. Oh, yes, yeah, nice high back up. Ah, oh, it's good yeah. for Good for I just tied up some new rigs as well. Yeah, when Tony says to tie up new rigs, I just made them for him as well. It's lovely. Oh, that's a good, good fish, And he's Tony releasing. How big was that tone? Uh, 39 and a quarter. 39 and a quarter, nice tone. Well done, mate. Hi all, uh, it's Monday, uh, about four o'clock in the afternoon there. The weather's still lovely over this side, cold over Dave's side. Uh, Dave's now moved from swim two. Uh, he just weren't feeling it down there, he's gone down opposite Martin. Martin hasn't had a fish now since two o'clock this morning. 
Um, I've had five there. Um, last one was 39 and a quarter. So um, I've had um, a couple of 20s, 30. Uh, and that, that's the biggest I've had so far, 39 and a quarter. I thought it was going to go more than, more than 40, to be honest with you. A mirror. Um, and that came off my left uh, uh, middle rod, sorry. Uh, where the tree's in the water. Um, I'll show you that. I'll get nothing on the inside, on the... Um, on the close rod, the others, the others came out 18 maps on the right hand rod towards the middle, towards the centre. But I'm glad you'll be over now. Uh, the other three lads have turned up, like five, three turned up at two o'clock this morning. Uh, still setting up, but um, they should have a few out over there, I would have thought. But due for some decent weather. Seventeen Thursday and Friday. Um, it's still cold nights. Um, it looks like Martin's getting them in the evening and early early hours of the morning. Uh, let's see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll nick a few more. But uh, I think Martin's had seven. I've had five. Little Dave still can get off the mark, so he's itching. <laughs> he, he couldn't wait any longer, so he's gone down opposite Martin. Wind's still pushing down that way, but it's a cold wind. Um, I thought they might have been on the back of it, especially when the sun gets up, it's really warm over this side. Right, let's see what happens. Should nick a few more, hopefully. Get back to you soon. Right, it's Tuesday morning. I've moved again from swim two to swim eight. Yesterday, I managed to bag a 31 yesterday just before it started getting dark, so that was well worth the move, I think. And getting a little bit more action on the, on the alarms now, so hopefully, get a few more fishing up until friday morning i've got oh, one out one out there in the middle and two against the margins i am going to move one out the margins and put two out in the middle where i've had the fish from um that's about it really now bailiff's coming around doing the check so i think tony's on uh 10 now he said to me earlier this morning when i spoke to him martin had nothing again last night but the wind is still pumping down this end so things are looking good and I think the move has been worth been worth it that's right gave walked around to Tony swim how you getting on Tony? Uh, quiet mate so lost one about 12 o'clock and where are you fishing mate that's off that snag see the branch sticking out yeah just literally behind that but I've lost two off there now I've had four off of there so I'm up to six now you're on six fish. Six fish, yeah. You told me this morning struggling. you was on ten fish. Uh -huh, was that a little porky vibe? Was Mark, that? Well, he said he come round. He told you I was on eleven, didn't he? Well, I think he's trying to get my nerves going. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah, I lost. I've lost two off there now. No, but it's lovely here, though, mate, isn't it? Beautiful, the weather, unbelievable. If you have a look here, it's nice and flat, calm. And it's supposed to get warmer. But if you look down where I'm fishing, right down there in the corner, the wind is pumping still down that way. Yeah. But nice and flat, calm here. Nice 41 pound mirror. Swim eight. Oh. Oh. Back she goes.
Right guys, uh, I think it's about coming up seven o'clock. Got another big mirror. It went across me other line as well. It's caught me other, but I think that's another 40 all day long. Um, went across me other line, uh, back on the middle rod again. Um, I'm fishing out there where the yellow mark is in the tree. That's where uh, most of them are coming from. Uh, sun's just going down now. Uh, looks good. I said I'll unlock this one and uh, we'll have a look see how big it is. Hi all, it's Tuesday night. Uh, it's only about half past seven. Pitch black. Um, got the eater going. Bit of monster carp on the telly. Not a lot happening. I lost the fish about 12 o'clock lunchtime in the same snag on that spot. I think I'm actually going to move tomorrow. I've got a flat tyre, so I've got to change that tyre. Um, I'm going to move tomorrow down into 14, I think. I think I can still hit the, um, with my left hand rod, I can still hit that tree that I've been catching. It might give me a better angle. I've lost two over there now on that, on that tree. I'm on six fish, biggest at the moment for me is 39 and a half. Martin's still leading with a 55. Uh, little Dave's had two now, he's had a 41 and a 30. Um, I'm going to move into 14 because he's got the bar, the double bar out there with the silt running through the middle. I'm going to put, it's going to be warm again tomorrow, so we're getting warm Dave, I think it's up to about 15 tomorrow. So I'm going to put two on the bar and uh, fish the left hand rod over to that tree. Hopefully I'll get a better angle and don't lose anything if I get another run, but it's quiet, very quiet, and it's cold. Um, speak to you later if we get anything. Hi all, uh, 4.15, it's Wednesday morning. Just had one, um, it's not that big, I think it's only in the 20s. That's on the uh, finding on the middle rod on the long spot where Dave was fishing from peg two. Um, I had a couple of bleeps about an hour ago, got up for it, nothing stopped, and then uh, just ripped off. All right, get back to you soon. Oh, yeah, the yeah, smallest, smallest one we've had, I think, uh, just under 20 pounds. Just dragged it in. I thought, didn't think it was a big one anyway. Morning all, it's Wednesday morning again, uh, 7.30, I've, I've got a nice mirror, big old mirror in it, so I'll get her out, that was on the left hand one, the tree one, that uh, I've had most of the fish off of and lost two, so I'll get this one, have a look, let, come back to you and look now, how big he goes. Big old fish, that one. I reckon uh, could be 40, 42, 43. Uh, just stick them on the scales now. Oh, yo, it's up past seven on Wednesday, and that is another big mirror. Nice scales on its back. Uh, yeah, it's a very big mirror. Uh, left hand rod again uh, I've lost another one today on the middle rod which kited left down me under that snag that I've lost the two on the left hand rod so that's nine for me now speak to you now I oh caught to 11 just had a big nice common old Johnny boys around it right job <laughs> Netted it, for, netted it for me. Lovely fish. Still on the, I think it's a, I think it's a fault. It's quite a, quite a wide. It's deep as well. Yeah, you shout back in a minute.
third fish. Seems to be like they're coming um, in the morning time for me. Didn't fight much like this one as the other as I did last time. That might give me a snap up on the bank. Let's see, let's see what she weighs. All my fish seem to be coming off uh, one spot. Like I said, didn't fight at all coming in. My usual routine is to fight now. Let's get a bit of a picture for you. She is 38 pound. Oh, three bits of popped up corn. Fucking freezing. Morning all. It's uh, Thursday morning. Got another one. Uh, Seven o'clock in the morning. It seems to be bright time. Let's have a look. Another mirror. Um, I had 40 pan. 40 pan common last night. Uh, and a 40, 48 and a half. Put the photographs on, but looks like a up a thirty, I reckon. Uh, talk to you in a minute. Uh, let's bang on thirty and a half. Thirty and a half. God, it looks nice for out in there. Look. 
So I had one yesterday at quarter past four in the morning and then one at half seven. So it has to be seven o'clock by right here. Oh, it looks nice down here though. Can't even see Martin now so far down. That's, uh, that's the back of four. Last night, a big fish Thursday, hopefully, get one of the big ones uh, off in the morning. Right, speak to you soon. Just walking down to Martin's swim. Uh, lovely sunset coming up over there. Uh, little Dave had a, had a 28. He's opposite. Uh, off at Martin's just put his boat back out. What was that one, Mark? What was that one? I just had 31. 31, I just had a 30 up there. Yeah. Dave, Dave's just had a 28, yeah. Yeah. I went down to Mark. Mark's just had a 31. Common or mirror? Common. Yeah, both mine are mirrors again, apart from that 40 common last night. So I had another two. But all mirrors. I've had one common. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's a one. Yeah. Yeah, that bank there, look, glowing, glowing again. Yeah, wind's trickling over into Dave's corner. <clears throat> it's funny, that seven o'clock seems to be bite time. That's what Dave said. He said he had one yesterday, seven o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah. I had one, it's half past seven yesterday, yesterday morning. Half, uh, quarter past four and half seven. And one was half past six. Yeah. Well... Hi right, guys, it's Thursday morning. Uh, it's ten to nine. Got another smaller common. I reckon my might scrape. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Uh, come back to you in a minute. Uh, what a bad guess that little common. Uh, twenty-one, about twenty-one and a half. Oh, beautiful day again. Oh, that was a middle rod that time. Um, at the back. On the, uh, it's about 19 wraps, so there's no one in two, because look, Dave moved out of two. Uh, I think it was a spot that he'd been baiting over the last few days, but he went up to a fish opposite Martin, because Martin was catching them. Uh, that's number 12. Hi all, uh, it's about lunchtime, 12 o'clock on our last day, Thursday. Um, I'm up to 13 fish now. Um, I've just lost another one on the middle rod, but that's the one that I'm getting most of the fish off. There's a big snag out there, but I can't buy a bite anywhere else. The boys are struggling to get up the other end, yet yeah, the wind's trickling down that way still. Um, I think it's going to be about 15 degrees today. It is warm. Uh, I've just moved my right hand rod. The open water one's not doing anything, so I've moved that into the margins. I haven't fished that spot for two days, but I've been baiting it up. Uh, I had a 48 and a half last night, Mira. I had a 36, um, a 30 pound common, and I had a little 22 this morning. I said I've lost another couple. I think I've lost four in there, so I'm on 13 fish. Biggest still at the moment is 48 and a half. So Martin is still doing well with his 55 on the first day. I thought he was going to clean up down there, but he did have, um, I think he had a 36 this morning. Um, and a small 20, I think he's had 28, so I think he's on 9 down there. Dave had a, um, I think he had a 28 this morning as well, about 7 o'clock, same time I was playing my last fish. But um, it looks like it's going to be evenings again, early morning. So I'm hoping I'll nick another couple tonight or in the morning. But we've got to be off about, I think we're going to leave about 10 ish, half 10. We're on the 20 past 3. Um, but it looks good. I'll get back to you if we get anything. I just can't believe this weather. It's like, I think tomorrow I'm supposed to go up to 17. But so the wind is trickling down. The other boy's in. I think Dave's talking about having a move now, a couple of swims up and fishing the open water. He's going to try and get on the bar, I think, that runs up the middle. Um, especially if this weather stays like this, I would imagine they're on it. But I'm now fishing the close spot there on the yellow on the left hand rod I've been baiting that for two days and I've not fished it I've just been walking around putting a couple of scoops in three times a day 
Uh, we're on the old Essex Particle. He done us a nice chili ant mix. Had some lovely tears in it and everything. Uh, seems to be doing the business with the corn. Still on the two bits of fake corn. We've just stayed on that. The other boys have tried boiling and everything, but it's not. It's on the corn, definitely. Uh, we'll get a suntan today, I think. Sitting here enjoying a nice beer. Speak to you soon. Hi all, just going to have a, it's Thursday afternoon, nothing happening at the moment, it's a bit too warm. The bites don't seem to be starting now until up past five onwards. Uh, going to have a stroll all the way around the lake, Lake Free. Um, just left my swim peg 16, uh, going round into 15 now. Uh, so the wind is moving down, still trickling down to the far end. Um, swim nine. And that is the view from peg 15. It's looking nice now. I mean, they've got it all ready. Matt's up hanging in the tree, so you don't need to bring any of them lads. But um, they're shingling everything at the moment, so the swims are looking nice. Uh, just moving down there. So uh, peg 14. There's usually buckets in every swim as well. Uh, it's peg 14. We see Dave straight opposite now, he's moved down the swim. Uh, got plenty of water to go at. There is um, a couple of bars out there in front of uh, 14 and 13. Uh, let's come up to 13 now. So that is, if you're on this lake, Lake 3, you've got the lodge just over there in between 4 and 5. It's got the toilets, showers. Very clean. Uh, you've got electricity over there so you can charge your uh, bits and pieces up. Uh, this is swim 13. Loads of water to go out in this one as well. So there is uh, in front of 13, there is that bar uh, and the plateau out there. Uh, moving down into 12. Uh, 12 is what they call bailiffs. Bailiff swim. There is about 13 wraps out to a nice gravel bar. You go out a bit of silt behind. Uh, that is the middle bit up for the lodge. Uh, got barrows and everything up there if you want to move some bits and pieces around. Uh, all right, this is Aliff's swim 12. That's so about 13 wraps out. There is a nice gravel bar bit of silt behind I started in this swim uh, I was fishing 17 wraps long because they were showing long a lot of silt quite deep silt at the time just dragging it back it felt quite smooth I just didn't feel it in there that's why I moved down into 16 it's looking good for it though now so the wind is still pumping down here um, I think Martin is in swim 10 the next one's swim 11 um, that's the back end of it's the back of five. And three of the lads are fishing over there. They've had, I think John's had two. I think Kevin's had two and lost one. Matty's moved from four onto here. He's had nothing at the moment, so he's it is hard. He's, it's a slow week this week. I don't know why, but it definitely seems slow this week. Um, you got. 11. Dave is bang opposite now. I don't think he's had anything since he's moved, but like I said, they don't seem to be kicking in until after 5 36 o'clock time, just as that sun comes right over. It's Martin Swim. What number is this one, Mark? 10. 10. It's Martin Swim. And we stroll around, yeah? It's Martin Swim. You found much out there, Mark? There is a big patch of gravel in between yeah, you gravel. and the swim opposite, isn't there? And the king to the right, you can see the, there's a barn that runs across You can well. see that when the sun's up. Yeah. So it is the water, the uh, breeze is drifting down this way, so... Uh, swim nine in the corner. 
Uh, you probably won't, won't, won't want to fish nine if someone was in ten because you get cut off a bit. So it's a bit similar to two and one. You don't really want to fish. Uh, if someone's in two, you don't really fish one. It just narrows you right down. So it's looking nice down this end. But you only had one fish mark off the margin, didn't you? All yeah. yours have come from open water mid midway. Yeah, halfway. Halfway up. Halfway across. All right, get back to you in a minute when we're over the other side. Right, just coming to the corner of Lake Free. We've got Maroney's, which is a massive lake. Uh, just the other side of the fence. And the gravel works, and they have been starting early in the mornings. Uh, if you go up the dirt track that way, you've got lakes beyond them trees there. You've got like two, uh, like one. And then on your left, you've got like two and the other big uh, lodge where you have your dinners and your breakfasts. Uh, just walking around in the back there to where Dave was fishing. Uh, it's the only trouble with this, and in the, in the summer, it's Dave. No trouble with this, with the, uh, the white, white shingle down. Once the old sun gets on it, it's very, very warm. If you're gonna, well, you got your beers. Get them beers out. <laughs> Don't you run? <laughs> I'd come round for a beer. <laughs> All right, you got swim eight where Dave was. Uh, he had four fish out of here, so the wind is pumping down this way. Fishing them back margins. There's a couple of little spots marked up. I know someone's lost a bomb up in the tree there. Uh, there's Martin's bivvy opposite. Lovely big swims, lovely big swims. I mean, in the winter, we park the vans r literally right behind. Fish out the van if you want. Definitely worth a winter trip. Uh, oh, the old uh, suppliers have just turned up. And down the old uh, supermarket, which is about 12 miles away, Mark, wasn't it? About 12 miles? Yeah. St. Dizier. Yeah. He's been down, he's got a dive some more beers. <laughs> Let's Dave swim in swim seven. Uh, tell you what, they're a good thing, them rhino lights. Have a look on eBay, you can pick them up a bit cheaper. The old rhino light of a night. <laughs> Very good, nice bit of kit. Light all your uh, swim up for you for your photographs. Uh, it's got a lot of water to go out here. It's looking nice. Uh, that's where I am with a van, you can literally park behind. Winter time, yeah, if you drive and survive it, definitely worth a, a shout, you do get a... It's been a slow week this week, but I mean, I'm pleased. I've, I should, I reckon I'll get another couple tonight, maybe one in the morning before we go. Um, definitely worth a trip if you, if you haven't been. But all you need is hemp and sweet corn. Don't worry about boilies or anything. A couple of bits of fake fake corn. Big, big and that fish will do territory you. out there, Tony. Big fish territory. Yes, hope so, mate. Yes, yeah, hope so. Yeah. Gonna get the beers or what? Hey. Cracks a beer then. And it's just for me. Look at this. Look, he's got his beers, his beers there ready. Look how clean that beer is up. God, hey, I'm I'm shocked. Do you like my little uh, addition like, that I've done like with the two yeah, bivvy yeah. tables? Yeah. Nice little set of chest of drawers. Yeah, nice bit of gear. Yeah. How'd you find that particle from Essex Particle? Good? Very good, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well worked with shout. Always good as usual. Well worked with shout. Uh, this is swim six. There's the old dream, boys. No, don't get your kit off, boys. Don't get your kit off. Right. This is swim six. Lovely little run down to it. I think the boys are going to have to cut that them branches off there, otherwise it's going to narrow you down a bit. And you've got the lodge up the sit. Some nice big gravel bar out right there. Uh, all right, let's have a walk that way. Yeah, so they are working on all the, uh, got a lot more of the white shingle here to put down. I think they got a French guy coming in to do it. I was supposed to come in this week, but knowing the French, they're probably still asleep. Uh, and you got swim five. 
Uh, I know a lot of the boys have a bit of a social here. What a nice thing up if you there's a nice group here. Oh, I thought if you remember, Tony, 2019, this is great. I fish, I had the 60. Uh, yeah, Dave had a 63 out of this swim. Uh, I don't want to tell you, Dave, but didn't I have the 72 out of next door? <laughs> Same night as well, yeah, would it? Same night. Uh, right. Then you've got coming round, and you've got this one. Swim four controls uh, some of the bay area. Just see my van in the distance over here in swim sixteen. So you've got massive area around the back here to have a bit of a social. And you got swim three. Swim three. Can't believe this weather for March, innit? Swim three. Uh, most people tend to fish mid water this way. This swim. Uh, swim two is a good swim. Swim two. And like I said, if you go in swim two, then one's out of action, really. Because you can go, you can probably see the marks over there. And I said, Dave, Dave had a little. What'd you do? One night down here, Dave, or two? Two, two nights down here, and you can still see in the background the marks in the trees. I'm actually fishing that mark from swim 16 over there, so it's quite a distance, it's about 19, 20 wraps. And I'm fishing that. I've had a couple off of there. And then you got like the bay area, and swim one round the corner. So. If you go in swim two, then no one will go in swim one. Otherwise, it does tend to cut you off. But that's a good, good point. Uh, the dream boys again. The dream boys got a little work picnic area. Look, can have a bit of a social. So there's Maroni. It is a, it is a massive lake. No, and there's a lot of big cats in there though. And you come down the dirt track. I think they're gonna do all of this in the white white shingle. And you've got swim one in a minute. Uh, a big that that lake do you reckon Moraine is? 30 acres. 30 odd acres. Yeah, so you've got the gravel works over there, so they're still digging it out over the back. Look. I can't believe how early that started. It's about two o'clock this morning. Though, loud, I thought of you loud. being over the other side. It was really going, wasn't it? And this is swim one. You started off straight across the lake. Yeah, I was. Let's do me. Right, that's swim one, which a lot of people won't fish. If two's a better option because you get a better angle on that bank. Is looking lovely. Hi right, guys, it's uh, our last night, Thursday evening. It's about half past six. Nothing today. I don't think anyone's had anything today. Um, sun is just going down to me right. It's coming up bite time. Most of the bites have seemed to be coming after quarter seven, seven o'clock ish. Um, so I'm hoping it a couple tonight. And then um, usually early hours in the morning. I think it was about quarter past four and uh, seven o'clock. I think me and Dave and Martin had a fish on at seven o'clock this morning. So I'm hoping it's lovely and calm out here now. It's a warmer night tonight as well. Uh, I've had it quite hot today. I think it's been up about 15, 16 today. But nothing happening during the day at all. Um, Hopefully I'll get back to you tonight with a couple of fish. I want two more for 15. I think the, the move was worth moving. It looks like I've got a good, good 40 in the net, I'd say. Nice looking fish, nice mirror. Swim seven, my fourth move. Lost the fish earlier. Got the tummy alarms on, like a fucking noddy. But I remember this time. And the paint was off. Had 
this lovely. <coughs> oh, get her up for you. Love her. Fuck you up, Pam, you're up. She's thirty one pounds. Full swing. Happy days. We'll get her back. It's a load of fun. Oh. Hi all, uh, last morning there, just uh, breaking a lot of stuff down, I'm going to leave the rods out till we nine, so, uh, just gone seven now, had nothing last night, not a thing, as far as I know, uh, little Dave had one in the dark, um, it's fairly early, I think it was probably about eight o'clock, half past eight, he had a 31, 31, um, it's dead flat out here, moment nothing I had a couple of bleeps that was it really expecting a couple last night so I've just gone round and put a couple of scoops my last bits on, on the two margin spots uh, like I said, I'm going to start breaking stuff down now I want to pick the boys up I want to be away by 10 ish uh, I want to probably pop up lodge say goodbye to the fellas but yeah um well worth a winter trip it has, been, it has been slow this week i mean we have had some good hits over here but um our next trip if you don't hear back from me if i don't nick a fish in the next two hours uh, our next trip will probably be march i think there's eight of us coming this time and we're going to do one or two i think probably two so we did one in november a couple of the other boys are new never been before so I might do two. Two did some nice fish this week. I think Wendy came out in the mid-60s. Uh, she's a nice, nice mirror. Um, I think um, the same fella, Tarmac, I think he had he had another 61 pound common. Did some nice fish. I think Bill, Uncle Bill, he nicked four, I think, the first night for his birthday. Uh, up to 45 and a half. Yeah, so I might do two in November. So if you don't hear back from me, I didn't catch nothing in the last couple of hours. But take care, see you soon. That's the view, bottom end of Lake 2. Just found out off of Bill in the in the lodge that one of the Dutch guys over at Rhino at 67 mark, he said, didn't he? 67 pound. Wind's pushing down this way. So I think they're, um, two guys are fishing opposite each other. Good uh, I've fished Lake 2 a couple of times and I said if the wind's not down the other end, 16's a good swim down the far end if the wind's pushing down that way but wind's coming down this way and they're fishing opposite each other but they've been having it off. So There's been 360s out this week, isn't it? Yeah. 360s. Yeah, that's good. All right, there's Dave just giving uh, Martin the trophy go, for Mark. the biggest, biggest fish, fish of the week. 55 pound up. First day as well, Mark, eh? Yeah, first day. First day. So what you ended up with 11? 11 fish. Dave was on six. six. He had a 41. What was it? 40, 40, 40, 42 and a half 42 this morning. And this morning as we were packing down. And I ended up with 13. So we had 30 between us. So not too bad. To beat this thing. Hi, all. Uh, as I said, these are some of the fish we've had out of Dream Lake 3 over the last few years. Uh, it does include the big one, the big girl, big common. Uh, we had three years running from 2017 
I think we had 2018-2019. Biggest weight was 72.10. Uh, we was hoping look, Dave was going to get it this year, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, hopefully, we're going to be back in November on Lake 1. So take care.